सो है एवरी वन व्हाट्सअप दिस इज रोशन फ्राम टू के वॉच फोटोग्राफी सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग ऑन कलर ग्रेडिंग एक्चुअली आई डेड सेवरल ऑफ माई वीडियोज इन द पास वेर आई टॉक्ट अबाउट कलर ग्रेडिंग इन फ्लार एंड मैक्रो फोटोग्राफी बट इन दिस केस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इट इन वाइल्ड लाइफ फोटोग्राफी लाइक हाउ यू कैन एक्चुअली कलर ग्रेड इन टू सम सिनेमेटिक टोन्स और एनी काइंड ऑफ टोन्स इफ यू हैव एनिमल्स एज अ सब्जेक्ट so let's get started so here i am gonna open it with photoshop cc 2021 so actually if you don't have cc 2021 it's well and fine if you have any version such as like 2018 17 it will work uh, if you have 4 gb ram is well and fine you can use photoshop cc 2017 but uh, if you have more than 4 gb ram then you can easily use like 2018 19 20 or even 2021 so enough talks let's get started first i will undock this layer and i'm going to create a duplicate layer because normally when we do some edits okay we actually uh, want to preserve the previous layer so that by any chance if some edit goes wrong so we can easily revert back so it is actually my favorite tool camera raw filter which i am going to use so before starting the color grading process we would make some basic adjustments like we do it to every image so this is a image of a squirrel and first thing what i would do is that I will, that i will increase its clarity and i'll try to decrease its exposure because i want to create moody tones so i will increase the contrast i will increase the highlights i will decrease the shadows i will increase the whites it's some basic random adjustments which you can put according to your image now it does not have to be exactly same as mine because your image might be different so uh normally I like to create some uh, moody tones i use camera calibration here we have three sliders we have red primary green primary and blue primary so according uh to the image as us experiment like uh, which color will suit the best like there's no hard and fast rule like here in this image i'm thinking of putting the uh, red primary to maximum uh now experimenting with the green primary yeah so as you can see we got uh, some reddish tones now what i will do is that i will create a graduated filter in most of my photos you might have seen that i am using an uh, external light source so this tool is the secret behind this I will increase its exposure. I will increase the temperature. I will increase the tint, and I will dehaze it because you know, dehazing the image it actually uh, lets uh, it actually adds a bit more light. To control the color of the light, you have uh, temperature and tint. Since the uh, picture of a squirrel, it's actually a bit reddish. so i'll try to add the same color as the light now this is just like experimenting until you get the uh, right thing you want even uh, what i am noticing right now is there are a bit of grains in the image so if you find this thing uh, in your image you can use an adjustment brush you can reset the local corrections and you can just decrease the texture and clarity and you can drag it around the image so that you don't uh, like so that the image becomes a bit more smoother and this actually uh, creates a hell lot of difference in your image especially if you want to upload it 
you know on some stock photography website like shutter stock because they don't actually accept the low quality images you can increase the exposure as well it will create more light create some body tones basically i will go to curves and again i'll kind of play with the light and to create that cinematic you know fading effect which you might have noticed in many of youtubers you know in their videos or sometimes even in images to get that tones you just uh, lift off the rgb curve from the left to experiment with colors you have red green and blue channel uh like we have to be a bit more careful not to spoil the color oops yeah so as you can see we have already created uh quite good uh, colors uh, these tones now i will go to the color grading section so in the recent update the photoshop has actually improved on its color grading section before it was known as split toning in color grading section we have shadows highlights and mid tones so you might have seen in some of the hollywood movies or some cinematic videos that uh in that scene uh shadows are of different colors uh, sometimes they have warmer tones sometimes you know they have some faded effects some different colors so you can basically achieve them using this color grading section so i'm going to add some bluish tones in shadows some yellowish in highlights and mid tones i'm just going to keep it random like whatever suits the best for the image and here we have balance balance basically it will uh, create a balance between uh, this color grading we have blending and balance so if i uh, choose the highlights as orange and if and if i you know uh, move the balance slider to 100 that will basically uh, use this highlight to every part of the image which i definitely don't want something like this is fine it looks good i'll try to increase the sharpness a little bit this looks good in the effects i will add dignity so as you can see our image is pretty much looking moody and cinematic thanks for watching and please subscribe